So what we're going to be doing is taking a look at how we can work with DWG files both inside of AutoCAD as well as in Autodesk Inventor. Now here's a, a DWG file that was originally created inside of AutoCAD and I have the capability of opening that geometry inside of Autodesk Inventor directly as a native DWG file. Now this isn't all. I also have the capability inside of Autodesk Inventor to turn this 2D geometry into a three-dimensional model. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and open up this native DWG file and rather than just opening it, I'm going to go ahead and import this geometry. I have the capability of turning off specific layers. Inventor automatically recognizes these layers that were created inside of AutoCAD. And I can inform Inventor to turn this into a new three-dimensional part or bring it into a three-dimensional part geometry within Autodesk Inventor. Now with this 2D geometry or the specific layers brought into Inventor, I now have the capability of actually going in and informing Inventor where I want to project the geometry. So I simply tell it which is the base view, which is the top view, and which is the right view that I want to make use inside of Autodesk's Inventor three-dimensional interface. I'm going to go ahead and turn the visibility off of the other sketches, but yet I can still keep them for history purposes. I also have the capability to turn this two-dimensional geometry into a three-dimensional part by simply extruding the geometry. Now that I have a three-dimensional component, I'll go ahead and simply perfect this model to the precise settings that it's supposed to uh, be, that are supposed to be in place. I'll go ahead and create a cut up here on the top. And with the cut up here on the top, I'll go ahead and place one more cut over on the right-hand side of the component. Great. Now that I have this, these, these last few cuts placed on the model here, I also have the capability of creating an automatic or automating the drawing creation of this component. So I'll go ahead and save this part off. And I'll start up a new drawing interface inside of Autodesk Inventor. Now all the drawings that I work with when working inside of Inventor are native DWGs. Notice how easy and how automated the process is to create a drawing. Simply place the base view place the right and the top and everything's automatically created for me. If I update the geometry, everything is going to update. I can also create customized views inside of my drawing, so I'll go ahead and do that here. I have the capability of placing section, detailed views, also annotations such as dimensions uh, and constraints inside the model here. So I'm going to go ahead and place some dimensions on my drawing. I simply select the line or endpoints to place these dimensions, and there's a variety of different types of dimensions that I can place. And I'll go ahead and place just a few more dimensions on the model to finish things up. One more dimension that I want to place is on this cylindrical geometry down here on the bottom of the component. I'll go ahead and place it there, and we'll make use of this later on. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this drawing off. Notice the drawing is a DWG, so it doesn't matter if I'm working inside of Inventor or AutoCAD. I'm going to be able to make use of this data and use the information appropriately. If I go back into AutoCAD, I have the capability of opening up that native DWG that was created inside of Inventor. So not only does Inventor open up DWGs created in from AutoCAD, but AutoCAD also opens up DWGs created from Inventor. I also have the capability, if I wish, to place additional dimensions or, or um, specific annotations on my model and have those populate not only the AutoCAD drawing, but also the drawing, the same drawing inside of Inventor. So it doesn't matter, again, where I place those components, the, those, those annotations, everything's going to come through automatically. So here I can see the dimension that was created inside of AutoCAD. Now let's let's keep in mind, if I make a change to the original geometry or the original model inside of Autodesk Inventor where this component was originally created as a 3D model, I have the capability of realizing that the drawing dimensions can automatically be updated both inside of Inventor as well as inside of AutoCAD. So once again, it doesn't matter where I open up this DWG file, if it's an Inventor or AutoCAD, the dimensions and the updates are going to occur throughout.
So as I open up this drawing inside of, inside of AutoCAD, I can see the dimensions updated. I also have an additional piece of functionality when using Autodesk Inventor in conjunction with AutoCAD. Let's open up a new drawing here. Now remember, I created a drawing called New Part .dwg. And this new part that was created inside of Inventor, when it's created as a DWG inside of Inventor, I have the capability of actually browsing off or browsing away to the to the drawing that I created. So let's go ahead and do that. And you'll notice I have access to each specific drawing view directly inside of AutoCAD. And I can place those drawing views automatically inside of the AutoCAD interface. So not only do I have the capability of opening up the drawings, but I also have the capability of working seamlessly between the environments.